Turn it off. See you later. Love you. Brother, what are you doing? I'm going for a ride. Mom is like he's insulting, huh? Why not? That's very ridiculous. You need to wear proper boots. It's <laughs> all mission. No, it's not. All you gotta do is say the magic words. <laughs> magic words. Add cat. Add cat. That's not gonna work. Yes, it is. You close your eyes, say it three times, and on the last time, jump as high as you can. Like this. Add cat. Add cat. Oh my word, it worked! Okay, bye! told you guys that I had to go through to Track Mac to go and purchase a brand new pair of boots because the guys at Barker Second Hand Store just didn't have any boots that met my requirements. So seeing as this is the first new bike gear purchase that I've done since I've started this YouTube channel, I decided that I was going to give you my honest opinion on what I found with these boots. Now just a heads up, this video isn't sponsored by anybody, so this is just purely me saying this is the boots I bought and this is what I think of them. So this is the RST Track Tech Evo 3 motorcycle boot, it even says it over there. <laughs> it is a full length boot with superior abrasion resistance. It has got superior impact cut protection and basic transverse rigidity according to the CE standard EN 13634 of 2017. It also passed additional tests for impact protection to the ankle. Now that's all good and well, but what does all that really mean? Well, in layman's terms, it's a pretty decent boot that's going to give you good protection and last you a really long time. Now there were two main reasons why I picked this boot. The first one is because of this steel toe clip. Now you see, those of you that have watched my previous videos know that I have got an aggressive riding style. I like to lean the bike right over, I scrape foot pegs because I can. And because of this, I needed a boot that was going to be able to survive the kind of torture that I'm going to be putting it through. So instead of buying a boot that would just get scuffed through on the lever the first time I take the bike through the twisties, I decided I'm going to get a proper boot with steel toe sliders to protect the boot. I'd rather scuff away a piece of metal, which is replaceable by the way, than scuff through the leather and damage the boot. The second thing was this TPE shift protecting pad on top of the toes. Now, when you're riding a bike, you don't actually realize how many times you shift gears on your ride. And this is a zone that gets a lot of beating out of your shift lever or your brake lever, depending on how you ride. Um, and this was just, again, it was something that I wanted the longevity of the bike gear to last. So, little plastic protector pad over here, and all that happens is when I'm shifting gears, the lever presses against this plastic pad instead of against the leather of the boot. So, you know, it's just extending my life, right? And this boot has a really cool feature that I didn't know about when I picked it. I only discovered it after the second time wearing the boot. But if you have a look on the strap, this is a hook and loop retention system, which is pretty standard on most boots. That's not the cool thing, please. But this pull tag on the zip actually adheres to the hook and loop fastening system over here. Now, I don't think it's a big deal, but it's really cool to have that peace of mind that says, my zip's not going to move down my boot while I'm on the ride and risk me having an open area. This was not on my previous pair of boots, so this got me wondering, is this just the feature that RST came out with, or do other manufacturers do this as well? If you have boots that have a similar retention system for the zip, why don't you leave a comment down below? On top of that, these boots just have some other really safety-oriented features. It has a calf expansion made of hard plastic, and this probably would stop like PS-type injuries from the knurled foot pegs on Kawasaki's. It has a TPE heel cockpit, which is probably how they managed to score so well on the impact cut protection for both the heel and the ankle. It has got a shin protector out here in front, and it also has some hinged ankle support. So this allows the boot to flex correctly 
in the orientation that the boot would flex naturally when you're trying to shift gears or whatever but it will stop the boot from flexing in this direction which is just going to protect you if you fall you're not going to get a broken ankle on top of that it has got a nylon shank in the sole so basically what it is is inside here there is a piece of plastic that runs the entire length of the boot and this allows the boot to flex this way like it should but not that way you can't flex it in and it probably adds to the transverse rigidity so what that is is if you're riding on the bike and if this is the road imagine my hands are the road and you fall over on your bike like this and your bike falls on top of the boot like so it's not going to crush your foot other than that i'm really impressed with this boot there really isn't much for me to dig on that i don't like about this boot it's breathable all in all it's a fantastic boot but the hinges for the hinged ankle support are actually made of plastic now i don't know if this was design reason but two reasons why i don't like it is firstly the cosmetic reason they get scuffed up very quickly by my footrests when i'm just moving my boot around between the shift lever the brake lever and back into my normal riding position and so they take a little bit of damage but the big thing that's an issue for me is within three days of owning these boots one of these hinges had popped out and it's not such a big deal because i was sitting in the garage when i saw this thing laying on the floor so i picked it up looked at it and went oh this looks like it came from my boot so fine no problem which boot is it plug it in and off i go but the problem is this could have happened out when i was on a ride now i don't know if this is um a bad workmanship thing that i just got one that wasn't inserted correctly or if this is a mode for this type of system however it hasn't happened again since i plugged it in myself so i'm just going to assume that the installer that put it in just didn't do a great job of it but otherwise i've got nothing else to say so thank you very much for watching this video i really appreciate it let me know what boots you guys ride with in the comments down below or if you've got any safety things that i probably missed on these boots that you have in yours that you think are pretty cool leave a comment um other than that give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and ring that little notifications bell uh, so that you don't miss any of my future videos my name is matt and i make motorcycle related content for you to enjoy until next time ride safe